hello queens welcome back so today i have a new video creating this cute and simple style i was inspired by ambrosia here on instagram and today we will be using my goodies for my welcome to botanical bliss package if you haven't seen that initial video i will link the card up above so you can watch that initial unboxing but today we are going to be using some new products as some of my old favorites as well from botanical bliss if you guys aren't aware i've been using them since the beginning of 2017 and I am now an ambassador and I have just been utterly obsessed with botanical bliss so let's just get started so we're gonna start on four sections my hair is literally two weeks old like that's the longest I've ever gone with not washing my hair and as you can see it is very dry so we're definitely going to have to do a pre poop today and typically I do not skip this step but um, sometimes I do if I'm lazy but today I could not be lazy because my hair is very very <laughs> dry so I'm just simply going to section this one section into two sections just to make it easier and then we're going to remove any kind of shed hair so I'm going to be using my stimulating pre poo oil treatment and you guys this is a holy grail for me. I love the way that it coats the hair. It adds shine and softness to your curls as well as also just keeping them protected during the whole wash day routine. It contains a lot of natural organic products you guys. Some of my favorites are definitely the jojoba oil and castor oil and I just love those too because you guys know that they definitely have a lot of benefits as far as using them for your natural hair as a pre poo If you haven't seen my essential oils video, I will link it up above as well because it also includes some of my favorite oils that Botanical Bliss includes in her pre poo oil treatment. So after applying a good amount onto my hair, I did heat up the oil. I did not mention that because I like to use warm oil on my hair when I'm pre pooing And so I just placed it on there. And as you guys can see, my hair was very easy to detangle. And then I'm simply going to make sure that I put my hair into an even two strand twist because I am going to be trimming my hair today. And it's been about six months since I've actually done my last trim. And as you guys can see, my hair is very juicy. It's soft. As you guys can see, it is very moisturized now, which I do like about her pre poo oil treatment because it really does nourish the hair and the scalp as well. I can't, I just cannot get enough of this pre poo oil treatment. Once I discovered this oil, I have not gone back to using any other oil for a pre poo, maybe besides another one. But for the most part, I've been using Botanical Bliss's um, pre poo oil treatment for literally more than six months now. So here's another prime example as to why I like to use the pre poo you guys. And I know this beginning intro is a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show you guys this part because as you guys can see, I did have a knot. And it's very important to not just yank and pull on your hair. You want to take your time and try to see if the knot will unravel. But sometimes it won't, so sometimes you'll just have to actually cut that knot out. But don't worry, your hair will grow. But that's another added benefit of pre pooing because it will help with the detangling process as well once you actually have shampooed your hair and actually deep conditioned your hair. So I feel that pre pooing is a very, very, very important step if you're transitioning to actually being fully natural or if you're already fully natural like myself.
so now that we're actually done applying our pre-suit oil we're now going to go in and actually trim our hair now i've actually filmed a trimming video for your natural hair like over a year ago but i just wanted to show you guys again here So you're pretty much going to want to cut off any ends that are like very long or frail or say for instance like if you're taking forever to just finally finish twisting your hair into a two strand twist and you're just twisting just small slim ends you want to trim those ends off because apparently they're not healthy they're not good and, and most of all they are not a cute look for when you're doing a bomb twist out because you will notice too when you're trying to do your twist out if you're having problems with um taking down your two strand twist or even if you're having a lot of tangling at the ends you need a trim so do not be afraid to trim your hair because actually trimming your hair will actually keep the rest of your strand healthy because if you have split ends you don't want the split to keep traveling up the hair shaft which will just only create more hair damage so it's very important that you trim your hair as needed some people go to a professional to get their hair trimmed me personally I just trim my own hair at home because my mom trimmed mine growing up I trim hers now as an adult so for me trimming is very easy you just pretty much you'll know when your ends look good or bad so if you notice that your ends look scraggly as I call it then definitely you want to trim it because who wants to have ugly ends and then try to have a bomb twist out with ugly little frail ends that's not cute so to keep your hair healthy you're going to have to trim your natural hair forget about trying to retain that length trim your natural hair so that way it can actually retain the length because if you keep damaged ends then you won't be able to retain the length because the rest of your hair will actually become damaged And of course, I'm going to follow that using a hot oil treatment. Now, I do this all the time. Even though I use a pre-pool treatment, I still do my hot oil treatments, which is very important for your scalp ladies. So, you guys know I love my Jamaican mango and lime extra dark um, castor oil. And I've been using that for almost three years, which is why my hair is so healthy. So, now moving into the wash day routine, I'm going to be using the almond coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. And you guys know, I'm just going to start out on just rinsing my hair of all of that product buildup off of my scalp. And we're going to take some of the shampoo to start out with. And when I say it literally smells like almonds, it literally smells like almonds, which is so just refreshing. It smells really good. The shampoo, I must say, it does have a not a lot of moisturization to the shampoo. I love the way that my hair actually stayed in the twist. And I also like the way that it lifted all of the debris off of my scalp because, again, it it had been two weeks since I washed my hair so that was very long for me and my scalp was so irritated because again it's not used to going that long without actually having a wash day so this day I actually was appreciative of using this shampoo and conditioner because it really did add that moisture and hydration back into my natural hair while also clarifying my scalp which is very important um, again a lot of her products can contain again castor oil jojoba oil in particular this one contains almond oil and some other essential oils as well as you guys so make sure you check the description box below so that way you'll know which all products contain what ingredients and you can also check out her online store at www.botanicalblissshop.com so now after actually you know giving my scalp and that hair that TLC and that nice massage we're going to rinse out the shampoo and what I like is that the shampoo doesn't leave like a residue on the hair or the scalp as well it's very easy to come out and again my hair was very hydrated and moisturized it was not stripped of any of its natural oils whatsoever. And this is what it looks like being fully rinsed and as you guys can see my, my hair still has a shine to it. Now going in with the almond coconut milk conditioner. Now I did use this as a deep conditioner overnight because she doesn't have a deep conditioner deep conditioner yet. And so I just simply applied this on all of my hair. And um, you guys will see here that I'm actually going to combine these two strands into just one chunky one. Because in the back it's just easier that way especially with it being a different hair type. So I'm just simply going to apply the almond coconut 
conditioner all over my hair and oh my gosh you guys it smells so good it smells exactly just like the shampoo as you guys can see my hair was very very moisturized and once I actually applied enough deep conditioner near the top of that section as you guys can see I had that slippage I was looking for and my hair was very moisturized the next day when I got up which you guys will see in a little bit and I'm just simply going to tuck this away into a two strand twist and then continue this on the remaining section. So the following morning, this is what my hair looks like with the conditioner still on my hair. Again, I did use it as a deep conditioner and I love the results, you guys. Look at how juicy my hair is. It's still moisturized and hydrated and it was very, very, very soft. So I love, 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 love the shampoo and conditioner. So after rinsing this out, I'm getting ready for work now. And I'm simply gonna create the style that I saw over on Instagram for one of my favorite, favorite, favorite natural hair influencers, Ambrosia. And it's a simple and quick style that I never even thought of recreating. So this is my hair after being freshly rinsed of the conditioner. And now we're gonna move in with the Caribbean Moisturizing Hair Lotion. Now I actually um, discovered this back in April when we went to the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo. It's a daily um, hair lotion that you can use on a regular basis. And it is a leave-in lotion as well. And I love the scent, you guys. Like all of these products smell phenomenal. And what I love about them is that none of the scents conflict with the other um, products when you're using them in conjunction together. And I love collections like that. And I must say that her hair lotion is a lightweight hair lotion. So if you're looking for something like a little bit heavier, then this I would not say is heavy, heavy. But I feel it does give a lot of moisture because I love the way that my hair feels this week. Um, I actually just washed my hair last night. And when I took my hair down, my hair was so soft. It was uberly soft. And so um, here I'm just working in the lotion again. And so now we're just simply going to tuck that away into a two strand twist. And I'm going to repeat this on the next three sections of my head. We're going to get ready to start actually styling. So taking down one side, um, you want to combine those two sections together. And we're simply just going to create flat twists. That's all I did for this style, you guys, literally. So you're going to need a rat tail comb. You just take it and you pretty much do like a C part around that whole section. And I was so nervous, but I actually got it down pat. And so you're just going to just take your time and just create that section the way you want it. So depending on how large or how small you want it, that will make a difference in your style. So once you get your part the way that you want it, you're going to tuck away the other section. And then as you guys can see, I'm just making sure it's stretched out. And my hair was so moisturized, you guys. It felt really good. So now we're going in with my love, the Lemon Meringue Curl Defining Custard. You guys know I love this Curl Defining Custard. This is a Holy Grail Curl Defining Custard. I could not imagine not using it. And we're simply just going to apply that onto this section. And as you guys can see, my hair starts to actually curl. So that's what I love about this Curl Defining Custard. It really does curl make your curls define and it also again adds that moisture for your hair for that week and when i tell you guys like i love this curl defining custard i love it so if you're wanting to try any of the products that i'm showing you guys here in this video you can use my code queen10 to save 10 percent off of your order so now that we've actually applied the lemon moraine curl defining custard we're just simply going to create our flat twist and it's easier if you guys just watch versus me trying to explain how to create a flat twist but yeah so if you like to create flat twists then definitely definitely the style is for you it's very quick and simple i did this the following morning before going into work so it literally only took me i would say probably like 20 minutes to actually create the style you guys um it really was not like a um 
time crunch situation or anything like that and so you're simply just going to continue with your two strand twists all the way down to the ends and as you guys can see my ends look 10 times better <laughs> so now we're just going to continue this on to the other side i just went on ahead and did the other side off camera for the sake of time because this video is already long and so we're just going to apply some more of the lemon meringue curl defining custard and then work that in with my texture pro detangler brush you guys know i love this thing i actually need to get a new one and we're going to create our two strand flat twist again and you guys you just want to take your time and just make sure that you actually have a nice flat twist because you'll notice that when i got to this part i was just kind of like rushing through it but um yeah because your arms get tired but all in all you guys i really and truly do love the almond coconut milk shampoo and conditioner that was a complete shock for me because i'm not a big person on shampoos but i was sold after the first rinse wash and rinse you guys so once you actually have created your flat twist you're simply just going to tuck the ends across each other in the back and pin it i didn't turn around to show you guys this because i figured it was pretty much simple i mean you're pretty much just crisscrossing your twist your twist in the back and then you're just going to bobby pin them down where you want them and you're just going to continue this with the remaining four flat oh my little baby hey good morning Mwah. and so we're just going to lay down those edges with my cream of nature scarf shout out to my cream of nature fam for sending me this lovely scarf because i've been using it every night and yeah so after i've laid down my edges using some edge control um this is what my hair looks like and i just lightly lifted my twist a little bit to just give them some volume before i actually putting some hair jewels in so I found these at my local beauty supply store one of them has rhinestones and the smaller package doesn't so you guys they were only like literally like two dollars I mean cheap right yeah cheap <laughs> so we're gonna go with these smaller ones today just simply because I'm going into work and you just simply open the little hair jewels and you just pretty much just squeeze them around the twist and that's it and this little addition to this simple and quick hairstyle you guys is what really gave it a nice pop i wore it all week and i received so many compliments my hair was moisturized this is a perfect protective style for the summertime especially if you live in um hot states like florida because it's always hot and especially now with it being the summertime we ain't got time for that <laughs> So this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you to Botanical Bliss for all of these amazing goodies that I received in my welcome package. So I was able to share them here with you guys on, on, on YouTube. So this is what the back looks like. And you guys, it literally was a quick and simple style. Like I'm definitely doing this again for the summertime. I'm probably gonna do this all summer 2017 because again, how quick and simple is this hairstyle for the summertime and it looks like a goddess so yeah thank you so much queens i hope you guys enjoyed this check the description box for everything and i'll see you guys in my next upload Mwah! be blessed you guys